It's easy to attack an idea, to question a conclusion, to rip apart a perspective. It's a simple thing to dismantle a worldview, to belittle one's belief and to mock their opinions. We live in an instant gratification world, raising a generation seeking fast fulfillment, rapid rewards, and pressure-free payoffs. We have an entire generation willing to tear down others for a fast track to fame, to rip apart their own society for the sake of chaos and notoriety, to shatter their own lives for online likes and upvotes while hijacking the causes of others for their own gain, to destroy that's easy, that's simple. To create, that's something entirely different. Something painstaking, requiring the patience to plant, the humility to admit wrongs, and the sacrifice of surrendering one's own life for the sake of those who follow. To build, that's hard, that's difficult. And when it comes to defining our existence, to debating the meaning of our lives, this distinction is becoming more prevalent, more obvious. Christianity as a worldview is now under attack by those offering nothing in return. No meaning, no purpose, no hope. By a newer breed of evangelical atheism, one that shies away from its own convictions for the sake of convenience, one that hides from its own outcomes in the interest of an outcry, a worldview that positions itself as no position, yet has become more evangelical than Christianity itself, seeking to subject theism into silence, to push us away from its burdens and responsibilities into a realm of unfettered intellectual dissonance, displacing us from our own experiences while denying our most basic questions. Why are we here? Why do we really exist? What is our ultimate purpose? Attack. It's what this new atheism does, expecting us to turn the other cheek, listening to the words of Jesus. And in the proper context, we should do exactly that. But this isn't that context. This isn't that time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 says there is a time and a place for everything under the sun. And now is the time and place for Christian thinkers to rise back up and hit back.